Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is intersection of two linked lists. Write a program to find the node at which the intersection of two singly linked lists begins. For example, if we had these two linked lists, we want to return C1 because that's the point where it gets merged. Here we want to return 8, here 2, and if they don't intersect, we're just going to return nothing. Now, we do have a couple nodes here. Uh, basically, your code should preferably run in O of n time and use only O of 1 memory. Uh, there's nothing distinct about the values themselves. Uh, you can have repeats like 1, 1, so that's going to be a problem. Okay, so if we didn't care about memory, we could do this in O of n time pretty easily, right? What we could do is just traverse through one linked list, uh, keep track of all the visited nodes that we visited, and then traverse the other list and see whichever one that we see that is inside the visited list, return that, the first one that, that is, because that's the first point that it gets merged. So let's start off by going with that solution. What I'll do is have a current pointer for A and B. This will be head A and head B. And we'll first traverse through our, our first linked list. And we will add to our visited set the node, and then we'll just move that ahead. So next, we'll do the same thing here with B. And we'll say if per B in visited, then we return that. Otherwise, we move our current pointer for B ahead. And if we don't find anything, then we'll just return a none, I suppose. So this does use O of n memory because of the set, but it would be the most intuitive, the straightforward, and it totally works, it gets accepted. Now, how can we solve this without using extra memory? That's gonna be a lot trickier. So let's kind of think about how we can do this. Um, so you can see in the notes that we aren't allowed to uh, change the original structure in any way. So we have to retain the original structure. Uh, we can assume there's no cycles and blah, blah, blah. So if we want to use O of n space, really doesn't have many options here. There's no cycles, so we can't do any like slow and fast pointers. Um, what value could we save here for one value to calculate like what we can you know, determine? Uh, well, one thing you can realize is there's an overlap if they do merge. Uh, the length is going to be the same of the overlapped part, right? So the first linked list has a length of 5. And the second linked list has a length of six. Now, the three here is going to be the same. So really, the only difference is going to be between B and A. So if we like found the absolute difference between these two, we can see that there's going to be a difference of one. Now, knowing that, we could just move our pointer for the longer linked list ahead that difference. So here, there's a difference of one. So we'll move this pointer here. And then we'll just traverse through both pointers uh, the same distance until they have the same node. That's going to be the same thing. Here we can see a difference of 2, so we'll move this one point two, and then we'll start traversing down to see where it meets up. Uh, if it never meets up, then we just return nothing, because both of them will point to a none eventually, and we'll just return a none there. Okay, so that's going to be a lot trickier, but let's see how we can do this. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we have our current pointers. We also want to uh, let's see. We want to store the lengths. So I'll just call it A and B. Zero, zero. And let's first move through the first linked list. What we can do is increase our A as we move our current pointer ahead. And we'll do the same thing for B. Okay, so now we should have the lengths of both A and B. Now we gotta determine which one is longer. So if A is greater than B, then let's see, we're gonna call this current long and we'll make that equal to the current A pointer. Uh, that's pointing at, so we'll do head A instead. Uh, we'll also um, store the difference between the two. So that's gonna be A minus B. And I suppose we should also uh, set our 
short pointer to the head B here. Now otherwise, we'll do current long equals head B, difference equals B minus A, and current S equals cur A. Or not cur, sorry, head A. Okay, so now we have our difference. Uh, we want to move our pointer for the long linked list ahead however many different points there are. So uh, I'll just do that straightforward here. While i is less than diff, we will move our pointer up to the current long to equal cur l dot next like this. Okay, now this is going to be the point at which we want to move both, right? All right, so while cur l does not equal cur s, we will move ahead both. And then we return per L. Well, either one's probably fine, but at the certain point where they're gonna be the same, that means that's the point that they got merged. So let's make sure this works. It looks like it did, so let's go and submit it. And there we go, accepted. So this is all one space. We do make two passes because we want to calculate the length. I did see some really clever solutions where you could kind of do the both of these at the same time, uh, but it was pretty unintuitive, so I didn't want to go into, into that. This is the way you do it. I'm sure you can clean it up if you'd like, uh, but there we go. So thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.